My name is Joe Farwell, and I'm here today to talk about my family background, my family, and some things about the famous Hull House. I was born in Chicago, and after a few years there, we moved to Oak Park when I was eight years old. Besides my mother, there were four other brothers and a sister who all went to Hull House. And the oldest was Albert Carroll. Uncle Albert, after many years of traveling and theater work, he rose to the role of being the primary understudy for John Barrymore, the famous John Barrymore of the Barrymore family. I had another uncle by the name of Gene, Uncle Gene Carroll, which was very popular in the early 20s. And he did that for a number of years in Cleveland, Ohio. In fact, he became the star appearer in, uh, in various uh, radio circumstances. He had a partner and they were on the radio all the time for many, many years. He started a television program featuring the children who he taught in his dancing school. It wasn't just dancing, but they had all forms of musical education. And he was really training them all for eventually for a professional career. Uh, my mother's name was Eleanor Carroll, and she always enjoyed the piano and went to Hull House to learn to become a concert grand piano player until she became uh, a young woman. And Jane Addams even suggested that my mother go to Cincinnati to a school recommended by Jane Addams. Along the way, I had developed many interests in music and had many experiences in music. And one of my closest friends had a radio show of Brazilian music. And one day he said to me, there is a Brazilian singer who's coming to Chicago and her name is Rita. When she gets here, I would like you to come and hear her on her first job with my band. And I went to hear her and I met her and I was very impressed with how well she sang and what a good person she was. And we became friends very, very early on. And then a few years later, in my musical world, I met another good friend by the name of Gingy, who was already an established singing person in the Chicago area for quite a few years, and very experienced and very good. I became very impressed with how energetic they were, how serious they were, how creative they were. And the more I saw the relationship between these two ladies grow and their abilities grow, I kept thinking that this was the kind of creativity I saw as a young man when I visited Hull House. There was a certain creative energy that these girls had that reminded me of my experiences at Hull House and I was impressed with that. So much so that I encouraged them to get together and consider opening a music school of some type in the near future. And now we have the Carol Farwell Institute in Alma as a result of their coming together.